Hello guys and YCC crew, you know, you all the same people. Uh, start again. Hello YCC and everybody in between. Uh, this is Kamikaze Guy with uh, his latest comic haul. It's not a weekly one, this is this comprises maybe two to three weeks of stuff uh, accumulated both from Forbidden Planet and of course eBay. So I'll start off with Avengers 21, another obligatory um, Infinity tie in. Uh, this is a bit of an old one now because I've, I've missed it somehow. So I dig through eBay to try and find it. But uh, another good issue, fits in with the story, makes the story really well. Still loving this. And I'll do these all three together. Uh, three of the latest Infinity Times. Well, besides part five, which isn't really a time. <laughs> I've noticed that with each issue, I think there's a, a colour theme. I think issue four. Yeah, uh, the green theme for all the, the tie-ins as well. Issue five is obviously the purple one. There is some purple, I suppose, in Mighty Avengers three. I think this is the last, last um, Infinity for Mighty Avengers, so I can drop that. <laughs> um, obviously, there's one issue left of Infinity. Done. And twenty-three. Is twenty-three? I mean twenty-four. Possibly is the last Infinity for the Avengers, so I can drop that. I've worked out once Infinity finishes, that creates um, like a twenty-pound space of of uh, money in my haul, which I may apply to something else. I'm not, I don't know yet. Anyway, moving on. Um, Spirit Spider-Man, Arms of the Octopus, three of three. Uh, I like this. Uh, it wasn't like a big epic story, I think it was just a nice rounded story because it had a, a proper ending. I did wonder whether it being the arms of the octopus it would be about just his arms, seeing as in 700 octi, so the arms have got to go somewhere, but it does feature arms but not those arms, so I was, I was kind of right, but um, I'm not sure how if this ties into any of the other series because there's a appearance by the X-Men in there like the original X-Men but um, on the whole I really like this and because only three, three issues ah, it's finished with um, ok next is Pure Spider-Man Marvel, no it's not is it? completely wrong uh, Peter Parker Spider-Man Marvel Knights number two not much in this dialogue wise even plot wise um, this is, I suppose, what is it? It's, is it the difficult second issue? <laughs> um, obviously it continues on nicely from issue one, but there's not much in the way of development. I think they're just going over the situation he's in. So he's just fighting, I thought what actually happens in it now. I'll have to have a look. I think he's just fighting the bad guys. Oh yeah, Sandman, oh Sandman, but the artwork, still amazing, so they, just the design of it really, it's, it's not you know, your regular comic layout at all, even mixing styles, this way he likes Peter's thought processes as he's fighting, he's, mm. You can almost hear little ZX Spectrum sound effects going with these, but yeah, I'm liking the style, I'm kind of liking the story, even though the idea of fighting 99 bad guys before you get to me kind of thing is that it's an old idea anyway, but um, I'm liking what I've read so far. And again, only five issues to that, and that's something else I can drop. <laughs> Not that I'm looking to drop things, it's a uh, pull list is quite big, but most of it is, I think, down to infinity. Uh, next is Superior Spider-Man, number 20, Black Cat. Um, if you've seen Adam's review of this, yeah, I know exactly what he means with uh, when he meets the Black Cat. It's not a major part of this issue, but it's quite funny and it 
definitely set something up for, for the future. Mm. Right, um, do you realize you know, no, on the outside it is Spider Man, but on the inside it is Doc Ock. So, how he relates to everybody, treats everybody, is going to be completely different. So, it, it's no more Spider Man than it was if anybody else was wearing the costume other than Peter Parker. Um, but I'm still loving this. I'm not all winning like 10 point issues, but um, on the whole, yeah, I'm really liking it. I don't know how long it's going to go on for. Obviously, Peter will come back at some point. And um, people have said, um, who is it? Slot is going to ruin Peter's life before he comes back as much as possible, which is probably how it should be, really. You, you want Otto to have an effect in Peter's, in Peter's body before he comes back so that you know he's got to deal with all that shit afterwards because it's you know it makes good sense dramatically so it's just how far they're going to take it really or you know when he, come, if, when he comes back I'm pretty sure he will you know he'll just be the enemy of everybody really but we shall see uh, I'm in no rush at the moment for Peter to come back Right. Next, East of West 7. Absolutely amazing storyline. I picked up originally 3, 4, 5 and 6 from, in, from Forbidden Planet. I had to wait till I got 1 and 2 to read them all in one go. And it was, I, I, I was more than surprised. I mean, people had said, you know, it's amazing storyline and stuff. But I really, really, really enjoyed it. It wasn't quite what I expected. I liked the whole um, setup for the alternate timeline in the beginning of issue 1. Uh, I'm not that big a fan of the Western genre, but this this is closer to Star Wars than it, than it is a Western, really. Um, I like where it's going. You can kind of guess where some of it's going. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to go on for. Is it an ongoing now? I think so. Um, the only thing I don't really get really at the moment is the origin of the four. So I hope somewhere along the line that will be explained. But but the rest of it, yeah, pretty good and there's um, quite a few threads running through the story as well, which is good. Next we have Captain America Living Legend number two. Um, again, this is a bit like the Marvel Knights, not that much in the way of story advancement. It's more, this is more of an action part of the story issue. Um, issue one was like setting everything up, but in chunks, in lots of um, building up the backstory from Captain America's first meeting with Volkov and then taking you step by step through the events in history leading up to the present day so you know you're kind of up to date with what's going on when you get to this and I've, I think it's not all set in the present I think there's kind of a flashback or two in this but um, there's not much advance in the storyline but there's, there's more action in this one so hopefully you know things will pick up with issue 3 but I'm liking it as it is, and uh, the artwork's pretty great, and the covers have been superb so far. This is a s Elf Quest. Don't hear many mentions of Elf Quest, Elf Quest these days. Um, I read some of these originally about twenty odd years ago. Um, a friend let me, and then didn't see any since any for years. And I picked up almost the whole run, the Marvel run, at a comic mart a few a couple of years ago. I'm struggling to find the, the missing issues for that, and saw this. Hey, the final quest, but this isn't a one-off. Turns out this is. I don't know. I don't know if it's ongoing or whether it's going to be a mini-series. But I think that it's seasonal rather than monthly. I haven't read this yet. I think mean, I've still got to finish the Marvel ones. But uh, you like a bit of elf action? Sounded so wrong. Um, fantasy and elves and stuff and again uh, these are like um, a clan tight knit family so there's lots of there's in conflict as well as conflict with outside um, forces but um, this should be a really good story it's still written and drawn by the original creators which is good and uh, hopefully it will live up to my expectation next Star Wars The Draft Issue 3 I still to read one and two yet. <laughs> so much to read, 
so much to buy, so little money, so little time. Um, I flick through the first episode, first episode, the first issue. Um, yeah, noticing the differences, uh, liking the way I think it could be going. So yeah, looking forward to reading this. Do these all together. Something else I picked up eventually after hearing about it from so many other people, and that's uh, Trillium. Fortunately, unfortunately, uh, I was only get, be able to get one and three first time, and then four, I think, last week. So I still wanted to pick up two before I even start reading it. But uh, I, this is the second print for issue one, it's the double sided one. But um, going by what other people have said, really interesting sounding storyline. Really, again, different artwork from. Any anything else that's going on at the moment, so I'm um, really looking forward to reading that. I don't know if this is ongoing or not either. But. And then Saga, another one, another one I picked up by other people's recommendations, and that I've not read yet. But I, I'm missing about five intermediate issues anyway, so I'm not going to start until I've got at least up to one fifteen complete. But I, I did skip through the first issue. And then the birth of the little baby. So it's kind of, I don't know, it seems like a futuristic fantasy odyssey type thing. But another one I'm looking forward to reading. Next up, X Men. Oh, it's just normal X Men. Too many X Men titles. Battle of the Atom number 10. I can't read this yet because I missed number 9, which was Wolverine and the X Men 37. So I've yet to get that. Um, hmm. First four issues, great. Time travelly, timey wimey stuff comes into it, and it all goes a bit tits up. But right, sudden jump cut there because the camera cut out for some reason. Uh, okay, a couple of issues here that I get from my son. Itty bitty Hellboy number three. He's a big Hellboy fan. <laughs> Loves the films. He's got one of the animated um, features. So I had to get him this. <laughs> Uh, as Mark likes to say, you know, this is it's just fun, silly fun, kiddie cartoon joy kind of thing, but silly jokes. But it's just <laughs> it's fun. It it's, uh, makes a nice break from the the seriousness and the heaviness of some of the other stories. Good fun. It's pity it's only five issues. Hmm. Right, and his other title he's getting is Kick-Ass Three. He doesn't like a bit of minus one, it's not minus one, is it? But um, he is a bit graphic. But, but what isn't these days? But, um, uh, I haven't actually read it myself yet. I still have all the others, one and two, to read yet. But he's liking it, which is good. Um, the art is good as well. I think it's the same guy does the covers as the interior. Really detailed. Lots of um, action stuff in the drawings, in the pictures. Lots of depth to it. Good colour palette. But makes me seem as though I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? Right. And these are, I don't know, Summer eBay. Or are they all labels? From, from the shop. Right, pick this up from um, Cash Converters, which is still selling random comics, mostly independent stuff. But Lobo Zero. Never read the Lobo. I don't really know much about him. Um, I remember him being around lots in the 90s. But it's a zero, and I'm picking up the beginning of tomorrow, like zero issues whenever I find them. I've got a few of the others. So, it's only a quid. Right. This was a newly lovely eBay find. Um, one of my other, or well, my only other haul video, I uh, showed you Daredevil 5. Now we have number three. No, it wasn't five. It was six, but I've since got five. Missed that one out, but yeah, three. Yeah. Another one to take off my uh, Silver Age list. Not the best cover quality, fair bit of wear on the spine, but the interior is very nice. And it's all there, so that'll do me. Uh, what are these? These were, yeah, another couple of eBay ones. I picked up issue five in one of the grab bags from Forbidden Planet. So, I'll get the rest of that then. So it's Thanos Rising 1 and 2. I haven't read them yet. I won't start till I've got 3 and 4. But um, I think it's, it works out as being a kind of a prelude again to Infinity. 
So I'm quite keen on reading those at some point once I get through all of these. Okay. Um, no, this wasn't eBay, this was for being Planet of Velvet number one. This was fantastic. This was. This is my kind of story outside of the sci fi genre. There's, um, there's bits of Bond, Big Born, all those kind of things. Um, what was the other one? Michael Caine. Oh, Ipcress. There's, yeah, there's all that in there. All that in there. I don't know if it's a miniseries or ongoing, but. So far, great story, great setup. Looking forward to what's coming next. This was free. Um, it was like an extra comic book day in on Halloween. Got a message. Um, it doesn't seem to be publicised very well over here. Um, all right, later. Uh, but for Bin Paddy, we had a small selection of a lot of signs saying one per customer. I'm generous. So I picked up Thor number one. And <laughs> not really a big Thor fan, Thor fan, not having read much outside of the Avengers, but really liked what this set up, or potentially set up for future issues. So, and I've I've got number 11 in the grab bag as well. I think, it, no, whatever, whatever issue uh, God Bomb conclusion is for 11 or 14, something like that. So um, I might pick up. The, you know the missing issues. Just so then I've got off Thor because I haven't got any journey to mystery Thor's yet. But yeah, I really like that storyline. Uh, I had a few, well, seen a few reviews of this. One, you know, both ends of the spectrum. Really, one not like it, and another one really liking it. And as it's time travel story, I do like the time travel, although not such in the way they've been messed about with it in Marvel lately. But it's Rocket Girl. This seems your typical time cop type thing. Um, again, I'm not sure about the 15 year old girl doing it, but um, an intriguing premise, interesting, <laughs> interesting idea. So um, I'll keep going and see where it goes, and hopefully, I'll still like it. Uh, this was eBay from a couple of days ago. Been waiting ages to get this, or trying for ages to get this, and it's the Uncanny X Men 136. Mm. Has been thinking this is the one she dies in. No, she doesn't die in this one just yet. So I've got one three eight. So I think it all happens in one three seven. But I'm slowly picking away at my early Bronze Age X Men uh, list. I want to tick off. Uh, very nice. Very. Ooh, as he drops it. Very pleased to have this finally. I'll do these together. Uh, yeah, one was E. Yeah, that's Forbidden Planet. This was Forbidden Planet. I did last week. I'm sure, it was last week. Yeah, they've still got this in uh, the back issue shelves. Or I got this a few weeks ago. Or, um, no, what we're talking about is not issue one, is it? <laughs> it's issue three. Yeah, so they're both. No, that easy day. I was like the first time. Oh dear, it's only what half past twelve. I don't know. Yeah, got this within Planet. Already had issue one from the back issue shelves within Planet. So picking up the in betweens from eBay. Um, I liked issue one. So hopefully um, other people seem to like this as well. So hopefully I will. Past issue one, of course. And lastly, this um, I was almost shamed into buying this in the sense that I didn't have it and I should have done. Um, as a comment Mark made in one of his videos about how he's going through, he was going through his graphic novel shelves, and he picked this out and he said, you know, everybody should have this in their collection without question. I was like, and he picked up this, and I was like, okay, and that's Watchmen. Seen the film, obviously, yes, of course, um, but never, <laughs> to my shame, never actually read any of the comics. So. Go down to Waterstones the next day. Watchmen, please. So, now I've got it. Very nice, but don't know when I get to read it though, so it might stay on the shelf for a while. Huh. That's more. Oh, well, the only other, oh, the only other thing I've got uh, from eBay recently, I managed to pick up a large run of Volume 2 Amazing Spider Man. Um, you'll know from previous videos that. Um, Badly done, 
with collecting volume one where they didn't have any volume two so I picked up a couple of the late 690s issues leading up to 700 but before then nothing and uh, this guy was selling all of his 500 to 599 in, in chunks and I, I managed to get all but one of them so um, I won't go over every, show you every title because let me show you just an idea oh dear before you drop some more this isn't all of them but there you go it's Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2 500 to 599 but there's 25 missing and they're the ones that cover Civil War or whatever the ones around that storyline but um, the price he was selling Matt they works out maybe just over a pound an issue and uh, when you're talking about a big chunk like this it's a lot to chill out maybe in one go but in the long run much cheaper and um, I'm really glad I got <laughs> really glad I got uh, oh yes very last thing now today's post I think I know what this is although I'm a bit disappointed in the packaging it might be a card envelope but it's not particularly you know, stable so don't need further waffle from me Throw it on the floor. It's oh, well, this is in the bag. It's a piece of paper, not an invoice. Don't know. Can you tell from that? Well, it's a Marvel. It's a Silver Age. It's Daredevil number thirty. Daredevil against Thor. Oh, so now I have got Thor Silver Age. No, I have already. I've got Avengers. Haven't I? Don't know what I'm about. Yeah, I've yet to get any independent Thor titles in the Silver Age. But yeah. Thor not Thor, Daredevil 30. Yeah, I'm collecting one, two, forty three, which is Captain America and I've got that one. Yeah, not pretty good copy for the price. But nice mm, metally plastic, I've changed the bag and put a board in it. But yeah. That's my all up to date. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any of those you want to know any more about, or uh, any of my other collection you want to know any more about, uh, just drop me a line in the comments as people like to do. And uh, oh, another thing is, let's just uh, say I've got my tickets for Doctor Who 3D next week. <sighs> Looking forward to that. And I uh, hope you've all seen the Night of the Doctor. Uh, mini episode which was absolutely amazing totally unexpected and uh, it kind of makes you wish that oh I want to see more of him <sighs> anyway great uh, thanks for watching uh, I'm sure I'll be back sometime in the future bye